Hi, it's Louis Gave from Long Island Loot Tequila on Facebook, Instagram, the web, TikTok, and here on YouTube. Please subscribe. I don't make anything. I do it for you. I don't normally drink these things, but it's summer. It's hot as hell. I figured if there's ever a time to give it a shot, I will. This is a brand called Damn Right. Now, Damn Right comes in these nice little boxes. This happens to be the strawberry, okay? And it's called Son of a Basil, and this is the strawberry um, basil, okay? And they came in this box, so I'm going to show you later, but they uh, mixed the box for me, and they gave me two of the strawberries and two of the margarita lime, okay? Margarita strawberry. So this one is called Devil of a Lime, okay? And it's a lime margarita. This one is called Son of Basil, and it's a strawberry basil, and they're basically called Organic Tequila Seltzer. Now, the only reason I agreed to even think about this was because it's 100% agave in here, and it's 100% organic agave in here, legitimate, from the Partita family, okay? And this is at Hacienda de Oro, and that's at NOM 1522, and I happen to know that distillery and the people that are working there, and they have some high-quality people, and it's a high-quality distillery, all right? You know what's made there? Heole is made there right now, and Suave Tequila, two fantastic brands. This brand is using, you might say, the signature and the flavors that were the same in the Trace Agaves when Trace Agaves was made there. And actually, Mark Lewis sent me these, and he was the CMO of Trace Agaves, okay? And he's telling me that the fruit sauces is the same place that was used for the popular Trace Agaves margarita mixes. And I hear a lot of people talk about it for the years. They say that's the best one. So... I'm going to give it a shot, okay? It's from that distillery. It's female-founded. It's a female-founded brand, okay? They put 5% of their profits go to schools that are in need, okay, which is pretty cool. All right, now, this guy here is only 130 calories, 130 calories, only 5 but and it's 5% alcohol by volume. That's a nice little bang on the beach, right? 7 grams of protein, zero fat, okay? Uh, this one is only 110 calories. So the only thing in these things, all right, they're so proud of this. Like, for example, this guy, both of them have nothing but sparkling carbonated water, all right? And it's a blend of juice, 100% organic tequila, and organic agave syrup. If you're going to have agave syrup, that's the way you want to have it, okay? They come in these four 12-fluid-ounce cans. They're about $14.99 for a four-pack. In most places, okay, they contain less than 1% of natural juice. They're products of Mexico. All right, they call it the fresh taste of real tequila. Now, this guy here is the strawberries are actually grown organically in the USA, okay, and that's the son of a basil, strawberry basil, all right, 130 cows, like I said. And uh, this one here, these are called Tahiti limes. They are actually grown on the Caribbean side of Mexico, all right? And, you know, uh, Mark was telling me that they're so serious about this and this organic thing that they they really had to convert a co-packer in Mexico to an organic situation just to be able to do this product, all right? Everything is legit uh, organic, you know? So it's an organic tequila seltzer, all right? Right now, they're sold in California, Texas, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Colorado, they're going to be online real soon, probably by now they are, they're on Party Time, they're on uh, Party Time Liquor, Total Wine, they're on their own website, it's going to be coming around all over the place, you're going to see it, okay? So let's open these things up and see what we can come up with, all right? In the meantime, again, the box is nice, got a nice little box that the four packs come in. And again, you know, it's legitimate 100% organic tequila in here. Not a lot of fillers. There's no, this is it, no colorings and no neutral spirits. In the beginning, when RTDs came out, you guys know what an RTD is? That means ready to drink. When these RTDs came out, and I've tried them over the years, they're all, you know, I'm hoping this is different. These had neutral spirits in them and coloring and all kinds of crap. It's not like that now. So this, I think, you know, that's why I took this one on because this one looks a lot better than the other ones I've heard about. So let's do this first. Let's go with the uh, Son of a Basil Strawberry Basil RTD, ready to drink. So these are going to be perfect for the beach and stuff. I mean, you know, parks, beaches. Let's show. Here we go. Let's pray. They're usually too sweet and tangy for me and artificial tasting. But uh, let's see. First of all, well, wow, strawberries, like, it's strawberries. 
but you know what? Not not artificial. Like real strawberries. Like you have your nose in a bag of strawberries. Yeah, it's a little spicy. It's nice. This this has a nice smell. So now here we go. You get like a basil thing happening. Not a lot, not overpowering, like, you know, like grown basil. But then you do taste the strawberry, especially at the end. Here's the thing. Yeah, basil, basil and strawberry, just like they say. Um, And not a lot else, not a lot of any kind of fake flavors or anything like that. It's not overly sweet, which is a good thing. This is a lot better than the one I tried a month ago. I'm not going to mention who. This is a lot better. I could drink this on the beach. I could drink this at the park. This is pretty cool. Not overly sweet, not tangy, not artificial tasting at all. It's strawberries and basil. You barely taste the tequila, but I trust them that it's in there. <laughs> and it's a good tequila, too, from a good brand. So... I like this. I have no problem with this. I could drink one or two of these. You know, I don't know if I'd sit there and drink five or six of them, but I uh, would drink a few of these for sure. These are nice. These are nice. So now, margarita. This one's going to be more up my alley. This is uh, Devil of a Lime. Okay, so Devil of a Lime is a lime margarita. This one's only 110 calories. How do you like that one? With these Tahiti limes. And, you know, he was telling me, like I said before, all organic agave syrup with the carbonated water. Uh, we have blends of juice. We have the 100% agave tequila. They have the strawberry flavor, and then they, they, they do the strawberry flavor organic. They do the organic uh, juice concentrate and uh, the basil with the citric acid. The same thing with the lime. You just substitute out the strawberry for the uh, Tahiti limes and the uh, natural lime flavors, margarita flavors, some orange flavor. Uh, again, no neutral spirits, none of that funny stuff. This is all legit stuff. I like this guy a little better than this one. I would be drinking these at the beach without a doubt. I could have a couple of these for sure. You taste the agave a lot more. I just like drinking a nice sweet tart margarita in a bar. This is fine. This is okay. The best ones I've tried, and like I say, these are really good. I like them. So yeah, check this out. This is damn right. Ready to drink organic tequila seltzers, okay? Check this out. You're going to like these things. For $15 for four, you can't beat that. Great for the summer. Check them out.